Hey there, this is Burke, and I don't have my camera on today because, um, well, because my hair is messed up, but I did want to show you something really neat, and that is how to debug two different processes inside of Visual Studio Code. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, take the case of something like a React app with an Express app in the same project. I'm using the Express React Starter here, but the way that this works is there's two processes, right? There's one that runs the React server, the Webpack server, so let's start that. And then that will fire up our window here. And if I refresh, what you'll see is that we get back the app, but there's no message. And that's because the message comes from the server uh, and the server portion hasn't been started yet. So we'd have to do that in a separate tab like this, npm run server, okay? Now, once we fire this up, we go back and refresh. Now we're pulling in uh, what well, we're breaking here, but then we'll go ahead and proceed. We're pulling in a message. Notice also that we have to debug in the browser developer tools. Now that's not bad, it's just that we also have to debug our Express app over here inside of Visual Studio Code. Now, what would be nice is if we could do all of our running and debugging right here in Visual Studio Code, and thanks to Chris Diaz from the Visual Studio Code team, we can do that. Let's take a look at the launch configuration here. Um, basically, this uses a compound launch configuration. So Visual Studio Code supports running two separate processes under one launch configuration. The first one is Launch Chrome, and the second one is Launch Program. Now you do have to have the Chrome extension installed here, debugger for Chrome, but once you've got that, you're good to go, that's all you need. The second one, the Express Server, is just a straight node process. So once we've got these things here, we can run them. Let's go do that. You'll see we have a drop down, and the first one is Launch Program, which you see right there, and Launch Chrome, which you also see right there, but then there's Launch Client Server, which is what we want. We wanna launch both of them. So go ahead and hit the green button here, and that will launch the application. And what you'll notice is that we now have two different processes running in our debugger bar. So we can stop one and restart it. Let me show you how cool that is. Now, when we go back over here to the browser, say we wanted to intercept this request, we could do that in the developer tools, but we can also do it right here inside of Visual Studio Code. So let's open that file where that request is being made, which is here, and put a breakpoint, and refresh, and boom, it hits our breakpoint. Um, even cooler is the fact that if we come over, we can also go to the route on the Express server, which is running under the different process, and we can debug that too, right? So if I step through, now it's gonna break here, and then I can step over, and then we can go ahead and say, uh, we can assign a new value to this message here. We'll just say uh, message equals hello from Express, okay? So de just debugging the application, push through, go back to the browser, and now we're hello from Express. Now, what's really cool is that we can come back and make changes to just the express portion of the application, right? So if we wanted to make a change here, uh, we could come in and do that. So let's just take this text here, we'll pull it out, and we'll just, uh, we'll just respond with a string, very simply. But now we've made changes to this part of the application. So if we jump back over and refresh, you can see that we're still gonna get hello from React, but that's because that was the original value that we passed in here. So if I change this to express, uh, and then we come back and refresh, you can see we're still getting welcome to React. And that's because we have to restart this process. So we can choose program and then just restart it just like this. So without having to touch the React part or restart that, and now we're getting welcome to Express. Really cool stuff. Thanks so much, Chris. I hope that everyone enjoyed this video on how to run multiple processes from a single launch configuration in Visual Studio Code. And I'll catch you next time.